Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake helping you create something awesome today. I use Adobe Photoshop pretty frequently. I use it for all of my graphic design work for the most part. I use pretty much everything in the Adobe ecosystem. It's done the graphics for this YouTube channel, the graphics for awesomecreatoracademy.com, and the graphics for my podcast. And while I'm still a huge advocate for Adobe products because of my experience with them, the fact that I've used them literally for about roughly two decades now, well, I still feel like there should be some budget solutions for people who need them and for people who don't make a living yet from their digital art and their projects. So in looking for free and affordable solutions, I came across something that I didn't necessarily expect. I found a free alternative to Photoshop that wasn't GIMP. What I ended up finding was a browser-based uh, application called photop.com, spelled like peas in a pod. And PhotoP is something that uh, I really wasn't expecting, a browser-based version of Photoshop, essentially, that could open and save PSD files. And the only caveat is that it does have ads on the sidebar. And if you can put up with that, then you're good to go and it won't cost anything. The feature is almost exactly like Photoshop and it's pretty easy to use. One of the things that turned me on to this was I was looking for more solutions for my students in awesomecreatoracademy.com and our mentoring program. I was looking for people who have bought the YouTube starter kit to have a you know piece of software that wouldn't cost them anything extra just to go ahead and use some of the resources that I'm providing because when I built the YouTube starter kit, for those of you who are not familiar, I built this like graphic design package with over 150 downloads right now and I update it sometimes with new things. It's like templates for YouTube channel artwork, templates for YouTube thumbnails, end cards, all kinds of graphics. And I was like, well, you bought this and it's 99 bucks. Do you also need to go out and buy software just to use it? And you know, that was a little uncomfortable for some people. So I was like, well, here's a list of budget software. And I came up with things like Affinity Photo and Designer, and obviously GIMP is free, and Pixlr and things like that. But then there was PhotoP. And I was like, wow, well, anybody could use this because it's browser-based. Even if you're not on Mac or PC, if you're on bloody Linux, you could use this. And so it made perfect sense. So I wanted to just let you guys know that this is free software that you could take advantage of. It's actually really good. PhotoP isn't paying me anything. They're not a sponsor. There's no back-end deal. And they're an open source platform. So. I don't know if they really could afford me if they wanted to do influencer marketing. And so uh, just as long as this is around, I would take advantage of it if I was you. If more people are using it or if more people decide to upgrade to the premium offering that they have, then this will stick around and we can have good open source solutions. And I think this is a nice different approach. Photoshop will always be my bay. It will always be my main program that I go to for anything that I need when it comes to graphics. It's the thing that I know the most and I love what they're doing with machine learning to scale it and to make uh, things just work even better and more accurately. So I'm a big fan of what the Adobe team is doing. I always will be, but that doesn't mean I want you know only focus on expensive solutions. I remember what it's like not to have a lot of money and to need open source software or budget solutions. So I will talk about them here on the channel from time to time, even though they're not really the tools that I use the most. So I won't be going super deep on them just because I'm not happy with the open source solutions sometimes just from my perspective because the things that they're lacking are exactly why when I could afford it, I did upgrades and I bought into the new stuff. And when you do that, it feels almost impossible to go backwards. And you'll experience that for yourself or maybe you've experienced that in the past. So question of the day. What software and solutions do you want me to make tutorials around? Some of you have asked for more video editing tutorials. Those are gonna come and I'm gonna try and make them as simple as possible for people. A lot of you have asked me to do some more tutorials and training around camera gear. So that's coming because I've got some new camera stuff. And uh, of course, I've got a new drone coming in. So stay tuned for that. But I wanna know, well, what do you guys want tutorials on? What do you want training on? And I'll try and work it here into my content calendar and just see what I can do for you guys.
definitely make sure you're checking out photop.com. Like I said, it's completely free open source software. I'm not getting any money from this, but if you wanna check out some of my other resources and some of the tools I use, you can check out those links in the description down below. Also, make sure you're checking out awesomecreatoracademy.com. That is my online education platform. I've got a blog over there where I'm putting out some interesting content. You can also check out all the resources that I use in my business, and you can see if there's anything we're offering at Awesome Creator Academy that might be able to help you guys out with whatever you're doing as a creative pro or if you're an entrepreneur trying to market your business. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome stuff here on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching and don't forget, go out there and create something awesome today. Take care.